Update a perfect romance. The perfect match on World Improv Network. Yeah! Yeah, America! And the rest of the world! This is the Dayton Show, where no one knows where the heart may go until it makes a perfect man. And I'm your love, Dr. Booker T. Love. And we got three amazing contestants today vying to make the perfect man. Our first contestant, his name is Jacques Jack from Marseille, France, and he is an escargot chef. Welcome to the show, Jacques Jack. This is so nice to be here, Jacques Jack, the time I'm there, so I'm going to find myself some love. I hope that I find it today. Yes, yes. Jacques Jack, so remember that name, Jacques. Oh, Jacques. you have a fantastic accent, Jacques. But you know what? You might get outdone by the next contestant. I do not think so. His name is Klaus Toller from Munich, Germany, and he's a professional alcoholic. Welcome to the show, Klaus. It's great to be here. I, I could use another Marsenstein. It'd be great. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Hey, your producers, can you get this man some more beer? He likes that beer. And our third contestant, but not least, is Pill Berry. Pill Berry, that's actually his name. And he's from his mother's womb. He's an embryonic psychologist. Welcome to the show, Pill. What is that? I, it's the Pill Berry, I do Pill I told I to be here and out of the womb because it's so claustrophobic in the womb. I dare you that. So you came out of the womb and then you all of a sudden started psychoanalyzing people, huh? I told you, psychoanalyze the babies in the womb. All right. Well, of course, it looks like our bachelorette has got some amazing, diverse people to choose from. So let's bring her down to the stage. Everybody, give a big round of applause for Janice, who's a flight attendant from Boise, Idaho. Welcome to the show, Janice. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to find someone that I love and that I can love for life. Oh, Janice, we really like your outfit today. You look like you're almost a ballerina dancer or something. Thanks. I got a ballet outfit from a store. It's a dance store, and I don't even dance ballet, but I got some point shoes on my feet. Well, I tell you what, Janice, you know what you're going to have to do? You cannot see the three lovely contestants on the other side of that screen. So you're going to have to decide strictly on their answers alone. So why don't you go and fire off some questions? Okay. Contestant number one. Who's more ridiculous? Stephen Colbert, Bill Mayer, or Kathy Griffin? And why? Well, George is uh, the, um, the most ridiculous. Uh, this is uh, the Cassie's uh, the aggressive one because she is a uh, so, so sharp head. So is that what I think? I think she is so. Uh, she's a psychiatrist. Ready? That's right. Yes. All right. <laughs> the audience can understand what you said, but I sure as hell can. Nonetheless, hopefully, as long as you did, Janice, that's all that matters. Go ahead, what's your next question? I actually didn't understand him, so I'd like to ask contestant number two the same question. Who's more ridiculous? Stephen Colbert, Bill Mayer, or Kathy Griffin, and why? <coughs> Without a doubt, <coughs> the most ridiculous one is, uh, is this Stephen Colbert because <coughs> he, he can... Um, Get on Russian television and announce <coughs> his presidency for 2020 when he chops his own head off. <coughs> oh, I understood that. Yeah, Stephen Colbert wants to chop his own head off on Russian TV to become president of the United States. All right, Janice, what you got next? All right, contestant number three. What do you think is a more romantic way to date me? Snapchat or Instagram and why? Well, I think uh, the best way to do it would be to, to Snapchat and Instagram and uh, have a popcorn. And when we take a, the picture, I'd put it on Facebook. And then we would have a uh, dessert and I would uh, uh, take you to my bed. All 
not again. The audience understand what you had to say. I had no clue. But maybe you did, Janet. I think I understood that. All right. We take a picture and then we go to bed and have some dreams. That sounds lovely. Okay. Oh. Um, contestant number, uh, what? I think we're on number one. Um, I like that question. Let's do it again. What do you think is a more romantic way to date me? Snapchat or Instagram and why? Genèse and Moses and Jean Jean think the most best way to do is to forget the camera. And I would come right up to you and we would make our own stories. So I would take in your arms and my arms and then we would embrace and I would take you to heaven. And we would make love by the sunsets over the sea with the champagne and caviar drink. All right, that's a romantic. He wants to make love with you in heaven while drinking champagne. I know. This is my favorite question so far. Wow. I got to go on. Okay. Contestant number two. If we were homeless together, would you tell me that everything is okay or demand that I get a job? <coughs> <clears throat> Sweetheart, I would say you would have to go get a job because I need some more beer and that is why we are homeless. So get a job, you work hard and give me some masses and steins of beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the man is honest. He likes to drink a little bit. Ain't no biggie, are Yeah, that's okay. Mm. But let's go contestant number three. Same question. Would you tell me everything is okay, or demand that I get a job? Well, that's what I would tell you to do, is what I would want you to do to get a job, and get off your butt butt, and then you would have something to do, and I do like movie magazines, and so you would sweep with a swiffer, and then I would tell you you look like you have a broom in your hand. All right. Did yeah, the you? audience didn't understand that one either. Did you call my butt fat? I think he might have said that, but I I'm not sure. I think he said to get off of my fat butt, and I'd like to, um, I'd like to kick him off this show right now. By and protest, just... I'd like to protest because I've not seen her butt. I just <laughs> well, uh, let's put it this way: her butt is thick, and I mean, like in a nice way. I don't know what that means. My it... butt is my butt is healthy and thick. Uh, maybe I could give some psychiatry to your butt. My butt's not an embryo. Thanks. I don't have a baby in my butt. I have muscles and flesh and baby, thickness. Baby, you have baby muscles in your butt. All right. Well, that's, that's great we got to the uh, bottom of that there, Janice. And uh, we'll go ahead and fire off another question or two. Okay. I'd like to go back to Jacques Jack, and I want him to elaborate on the, the heaven of making love question. And I just want you to tell me what heaven looks like and what it feels like and, and like, and how long would it take? Well, the Jacques Jacques, I have to say that I have not been to heaven, but I tell you, so many women that have uh, caressed myself in my bed say, hey, if I was in heaven, this would be like that. So what I did is I painted the angels on my ceiling in my bedrooms and the, the sky looks like the uh, uh, Venetian in the Las Vegas. And so I put uh, the mirrors up there too, so I can be in heaven with you while you're on top. And uh, you can see my thick butt. All right. I have to say is that I like the uh, the big butt. All right. Well, the big is the best. Yeah. Oh, Jacques. Jacques likes the big butt. See, the audience likes some thickness too, I guess. Well, I tell you what, Janice. It's about that time. Mm. You need to pick the lucky bachelor. Who's it gonna be? One, two, or bachelor number three? I'm gonna have to go with bachelor number one, Jacques. Oh, yes. All right, come on out, Jacques. 
yes, this and this. see how oh. thick she is and how luscious she is. Yes, this is so sorry, oh my. Bonjour. Oh, Jacques Cheglex, your butt is so nice and. Thank you. Yes, it's so, it's so uh, nice the butt. Yeah. I'm excited to see your room. With the Venetian sky in it. Oh, well, I tell you what, guys, before you get to see that Venetian room, we're gonna pay for an all expenses pay trip to the Mexican Zebra Festival in Juarez, Mexico. Oh, that is Jacques Jacques's <laughs> famous animal. Is that <laughs> even... That's not all. Part of that festival, you're gonna have a midnight romantic mass and donkey show. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, I'm and so also. Daddy. Yeah, and then the next day, you're gonna wake up and have an El Chapo Mexican security prison tour that includes a couple's nude luchadora prison wrestling lessons. That is so nice, and I see your butt without the pants on. That's so nice. Yeah. It sounds like a perfect match there, Janice. Uh, yes, you right. picked the right answers, and the gift that I'm giving you is matching right up. Thank you so much. Then I can see the tattoo on your big butt. Yeah. That's right. And let me tell you something else, America. If you's about to fall in love, don't trip. Just fall harder. Good night. Oh, this is so nice. Give the Wincast your questions on Facebook, Twitter, or the Mile High Sports Radio studio line during the break of what issues the win counselors can help you with during good, bad, ugly. Next on Mile High Sports Radio.